guys so I am super excited to be back in my room filming it's been a long time since I've done one not in my car but I'm super excited this is one of my favorite videos to do it's the what I got my kids for Christmas I really really enjoyed doing it last year and so I'm like we're just gonna make this a regular thing like last year we decided to do basically the four gift rule. Um, we kind of changed things up a little bit this year to try to include an experience. So depending on how you look at it, at it it's kind of like four and a half gifts, I guess, because one of them is also for um, each other to share. So I figured we would go ahead and start with the stocking stuffers, which I can't remember if I showed last year or not, and then move on to the gifts. Before I get into it though, I do want to address a question that I got. Somebody left a comment on my one from last year, my video from last year, and said, do your kids believe in Santa? I always wonder how the four gifts work for kids who do Santa slash do the parents credit all gifts to Santa. Yes, our girls do believe in Santa. However, we don't push the narrative of Santa. And I think that that just comes from me as a child. Um, my parents had us believe in Santa to a point. My mom was a single mom. And so in her mind, it was like, well, I want, <laughs> I want credit for the hard work that I do to be able to provide you guys with a good Christmas. So it was like Santa would get a couple things or get credit for a couple things, but then the majority was just something that she had gotten us. I have never really been the mom that's like, oh, let's write letters to Santa or leave milk and cookies out for Santa or anything like that, but I definitely don't say, well, Santa's not real or anything like that. And as far as the gifts, we do not establish what is from Santa and what is from us. We have them just say thank you for everything that they got. If you do want to specify, you know, some gifts being from Santa and then some being from you, I think that's an okay way to do it. If they ever ask, like Kira did ask, you know, uh, she knows that we wrap the presents. And so I kind of just put it out there that, well, Santa brings us gifts and then we wrap all the gifts. I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of, I guess, however you want to explain it to your kids. I don't think that kids should be raised to think if one year they had a lot of gifts that was, you know, from Santa, you know, all of them were from Santa. And then if you decide to do a four gift rule later on that, oh, Santa just, you know, you weren't as good this year or, you know, no, I don't, I don't think that anything like that is fair. I always feel like parents should get credit for at least half of the gifts, if not the majority. So it could be Santa brings the stocking stuffers or something smaller. And then the parents get credit for the big stuff. I just feel like we do the work. <laughs> we go shopping for the stuff. We buy it with our money that we earned. I think that Santa is great for kids. I think it's a great belief, but also why should somebody else get all the credit when we do the hard work. So I think it's however you want to do it. I also think um, maybe explaining to kids, especially if they're kind of a little bit older-ish, like six or seven, like my daughter is, um, I think just explaining when you do decide to do the four gifts, if they're questioning why don't we have as much or, or whatever. Um, I know for us, we explained like, oh, Christmas is going to be smaller this year. Um, we've never had huge Christmases for our kids because we've generally have, have not had the money or the means to do that. Um, but if you're used to getting a lot and then you're thinking of condensing down, I just think educating your kids and letting them understand the meaning of Christmas and also saying, you know, hey, we're going to stick to the same budget, but we're just going to do bigger gifts and, and less of them rather than a bunch of small little things. I know I'm kind of like rambling on and on about it, but I just feel like there's so many different ways to approach it to where your kids can still believe in Santa and you get less stuff as well. So I hope that kind of answered. I know that was like all over the place. So let's go ahead and get into the stocking stuffers. So a couple of things I got the same for both of them. So they have a um, LOL surprise pets. And I, I don't know, it looks like it's got a couple accessories and then like an animal in there. So they got one of those. I don't know how this is gonna translate on camera but they both have a unicorn glow hologram mask. And I did get candy too, so they've each got a couple different things. 
I obviously I'm gonna share. <laughs> I'm gonna have some of these too because these are big bags, and then some lifesaver gummies, and then we have some press on nails for Kinsey and for Kira as well. She has the LOL and Kinsey has the Frozen 2. Um, they're always wanting me to do their nails, always wanting to mess around with the press on nails. So I thought this would be perfect. And then Kensington has these, uh, one's a shower bomb and one's a bath bomb. And they're actually pretty big. And I just got these at Walmart. All of the stocking stuffer stuff I just got at Walmart. And then last for Kira, I got this clear mascara. She, and I know she's young, and I know this may be kind of like, a, eh, like what's going on? This is not necessarily, a, oh, I'm gonna wear it to school. This is not getting her into makeup already. But she has always really been into makeup, and <laughs> she will actually get her fingers wet and try to put the water on her lashes to make them <laughs> look a little thicker or longer. I don't know what she's trying to achieve. I think just to make them look a little darker because they're wet. Um, but that's what she does. And so I thought that this would be a fun play thing for her to kind of explore because um, she already has several times messed with my black mascara. And that really makes me nervous because I don't want um, her getting anything in her eyes and she has before. And so it just, this I feel like is a safe, fun way for her to kind of explore that. Um, and have fun without either doing something harmful or um, having something that's just too adult for her at this age. So I thought that that would be a fun thing to just kind of start exploring and learning. I also probably could have just emptied out one of my old ones and put water in it, but I just felt like that wouldn't be sanitary. So this is pretty much like water in a container, but I thought it would be fun and that was kind of my first introduction to makeup was a clear mascara so I thought that that would be kind of fun. Um, and then for their gifts, so I'll start with Kira's first. She has been wanting a Candy Locks Girl. I think this one has two in it. Okay, yeah. It says two dolls, seven accessories, and one poster. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that's about. Um, but I guess they just have really thick long hair that you can do different styles with and different fun stuff. So she thought it was really cool and has been wanting one. So I got her one of those. I'll go over what each one, the category that we put it in. So this would be her one want. Uh, this is the something to play or like an activity, which for us takes place of something to read because they already have tons of books. So we don't, don't typically get the books for Christmas. This is Dino Lab. It's 20 plus cool experiments. Um, I'm going to link everything below. This has a really cool like video with it where you get to see everything that's in the um, box. But this I think will be really fun for both of them as well, not just for Kira, but this is more specifically hers. And then for the something that she needs, I got some pajamas because she has been in desperate need that are her size and are long. <laughs> she's, she's kind of long and lanky and so she needs some pajamas and we got little horse ones the top and bottom are the same on this one so there's that so that's her something that she needs and then for the both of them to share we ended up getting and I will kind of put a little clip of it so you guys can see we ended up getting them their own like kids Alexa they are always wanting to listen to music while they clean and it does a couple other different things that we just thought would be really really fun for them and honestly I cannot even remember if I think of it I'll put it to the side or what category we put it under I can't remember what category I think that was mostly just us wanting to get it for them <laughs> So we did kind of throw in something extra, I think, with that one, but that was kind of a uh, want that they both um, could get use from. So there's that. Um, and then for Kensington, so she has this little makeup set. It's all made out of wood and it's got a perfume, some lipsticks, a little mirror, some nail polish, eyeshadow, just some different things in it that I thought were really cool. They're wood, so hopefully they'll last a little longer than the plastic stuff. And this was something that she kind of essentially picked out. I asked her if she would like something like that um, and knowing that it was play and not real. Um, and she said that she would, so I hope that she likes this. Um, but I just thought it was really super cute. 
and I think that they could both have a lot of fun with it. And then for her activity, she has this rainbow craft kit. Again, I just thought that this was super cute, super fun, a little more age appropriate than maybe some of the Dino Lab stuff. This is something that she can just kind of sit there and do. Um, of course, they will both probably <laughs> share. Um, I could see Kira wanting to do this stuff too, but you can make different little animal things. Um, bracelets, just a lot of fun stuff. And then for her need, we got her this little electric toothbrush. It has a timer. It has a cup, an extra toothbrush head. Kira has an electric toothbrush and she always talks about wanting one. And so even though this is kind of like getting somebody a scale or like some something for Christmas, you know, it's kind of just one of those gifts. It's like, oh, thanks. But I think that she will really like it. And the fact that it's cute and it's a little unicorn, I think that she'll love it. I think she'll be obsessed with it. This year it was really important for us to do an experience. We've got, of course, the pandemic going on and things are a little crazy. Where we live, there's mask mandates everywhere, you know, in the city that we live, surrounding areas. I mean, everywhere um, people are taking so many precautions to be as careful as possible and so I don't feel uncomfortable with going and, and doing a couple of things in our town and so we picked like a local aquarium type wildlife thing um, that is super super fun and we just wanted to get um, a year membership for it. So that is like their big experience. We kind of splurged this year in regards to that. We learned that next year we need to up our Christmas budget if we're getting for everybody in the family and for each other and for the kids as well. We definitely need to set a higher limit than we did, but I'm so excited, I can't wait. I think we're gonna print out like a little map of the place and kind of wrap that up so that they have something to open for it. I don't quite know how I'm gonna do that. They don't have like cards or anything. I don't know if they used to, but they don't this year because I think they just don't want people exchanging things. So you like scan it on your phone, I think. Um, as far as I know, I'm not really sure. But um, we're super excited. I think that that will be something that they love. Like I said, you know, as far as the whole do they believe in Santa thing, like our kids I think have just always known from a young age that it's not about getting a ton a ton of gifts christmas is just about spending time with family yes getting gifts but also for our kids like we after we open up this stuff at home they go to my mom's and they get a bunch of gifts and then we go right after that to um my in-laws house and they get a bunch of gifts there so our kids just all day long <laughs> are getting gifts everywhere they look and so for us to do something a little bit more minimal it's just what works for our family and I understand that families have different means to be able to do more um, but also maybe you guys just like doing more too like and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that at all but definitely if you have younger kids teaching them that Santa whether he brings less or more that it doesn't have any bearing on how good or bad they were during the year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, as always, just leave it down in the comments below. I will have everything linked. So if you're looking for some last minute gift ideas, definitely check some of these things out um, or even for gifts for next year. I'm really happy with everything that we got and I think that it's going to be a great Christmas. I think that after the year that everybody has had, we are just in for a really good Christmas. We are due, we are owed it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.